All right, we're going to watch Charlie's Freestyle here. We're going to watch in a little bit of a, of a half speed. Just kind of start out with um, Charlie. One of the things while you're also looking at the videos, check the email for the notes. Uh, we just put some different notes in there. So if you don't have time to watch the video before meet or before practices, and you just want to kind of see what it is that we're looking at and what we've seen, do make sure just to just kind of check those notes out. Um, with just different clues and different things it will hopefully help out your swimming a little bit and help out with your freestyle. Uh, love having you part of the team. We're glad you came from the high school season and uh, like some of the stuff we're seeing here. So we're going to kind of take it over, start over real quick, and we're going to uh, go through it a little bit slowly here. All right, as we... As we start over here right in the very beginning, um, the very first thing that we notice real quick is as you're swimming your freestyle, we can see nice elbow bend right here. You can see you got high elbow in the water. Your arm is nice and strong. You're looking to the side to get that breath. Um, I'll be interested to see what the breath looks like on the other side, but it looks like it's a good quick breath. There's not a whole lot of movement going on out there, which is one of the things we absolutely love to see when swimmers are swimming freestyle. We don't want to see the really, really long breaths from everybody. So that looks great. As you start to enter your hand, you can see that you're dropping your elbow just a little bit. You can see the splash right here, right before your hand touches. Do make sure you get your fingertip entry just a little bit better earlier so that your elbows are staying up right when you enter on the right side. You can see right here the elbow is the very first thing that starts to break out of the water. That's excellent. All right, We always want to see your elbow really basically leading that hand as you're finishing that stroke. As your hand comes around, the one thing we want to try and do, don't let that wrist be so bent and flexed. Again, the high elbows, but when your wrist is trailing, what you're doing, you really want to have your wrist all in line with your forearm, okay? So make sure that elbow stays high, your fingertips stay low, and your wrist and your forearm are all one movement. You don't want to make it to where one is trailing the other. And you can see right here as your palm is facing to the side. So what you're going to do is you're entering a little bit more with your thumb. That tweaks your shoulder a little bit. And over time, that's going to start to create a little bit more uh, pain in your shoulders. If you keep with the fingertip entry all the way like you did on your right side, that's going to help your freestyle out. and It's going to help your shoulders long term as well. Okay, again, real quick, as we get a little bit closer here, you can see that elbow is bending or dropping right before your hand touches. The other thing that we're noticing is your head's a little high in the water. And we'll see this more underwater as well. But when you're swimming your freestyle and your head's in the water, we want to see those eyes focus more on the bottom of the pool. This lane or this black line here at the bottom of the pool is really where your eyes should be focused at all times. You don't want to be looking so much straight ahead. All right, so here's what we were trying to look at to see on the on the breathing. So I'm glad we were able to get to this side here. You're lifting your head up just a little bit, and you've got both goggles out of the water. Now, what will be interesting to see is if it does look different on the right side than the left side. But ideally, what you want to make sure you're doing is when you're taking the breath, the head should be down a little bit more so that you only have one goggle above the water, which should be right here, and then your other goggle should be below the water, which is right here. If you do this correctly, what you're going to do is you're going to create a little bit of an air pocket in your mouth and while it looks like maybe half your mouth is underwater, it's actually all within that air pocket, and it helps you get a little bit better breath. So work on not lifting your head up to turn, but more just turn it halfway to the side, and that's going to help your freestyle out a lot better with keeping your body line a lot stronger on top of the water. Great job of getting your head in before you start that stroke. Kick out there looks nice and steady. Good job on your legs. As we go into your turn here, like how your arms are facing towards this way. I'll be curious to see what that looks like underwater. Legs are coming straight over your body. That's perfect. Okay, that's a good position on your freestyle flip turn for sure. As you hit that wall, you can kind of see right here that your hands are out to the side. You want to try to make sure those hands go from your hips all the way towards your face as if you're throwing water towards your face. All right, when your hands kind of go out to the side, it's almost like you're jumping rope. You don't want those hands quite so wide. As you come off the wall, this streamline, that body line looks great. Um, again, when we see underwater, it'll be different. We'll want to see what your head position looks like, but you look like you're a pretty good body line right here. So that's excellent, Kurt. Excellent, Charlie. 
couple dolphin kicks there, eh, more like one dolphin kick, and then you break in a flutter kick. We'd like to see two or three dolphin kicks, um, you know, with with another group we just got done watching, young man who did a hundred freestyle, won at junior nationals, went like a forty one hundred free, and he basically dolphin kicked fifteen meters every single wall, and so fifteen meters is all the way down to basically. right about here that's where the 15 meter mark is okay so we want to make sure we're trying to kick out just a little bit further as you start that first stroke good job of getting that first stroke without a breath breathe on the second stroke is just fine it was a great breakout we really want to see trying to come up just a little bit further off those walls uh, let me get it back just a little bit here as we come off that wall you know, so here's here's where the flags are, and here's where your first stroke is started already. So you're a little bit a little bit early coming up. Okay, someone your like height definitely should be coming out at least a body length to a body length and a half past those flags. You're coming up just about half a body length past the flags with that first stroke. Okay, so let's do work at coming up the walls a little bit longer. Charlie, nice job, man. Keep it up.